What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to add a poll or survey question to your MailChimp emails. So let's get started. Now, when I say surveys in email or polls in an email, this is completely different than the new MailChimp survey. It's relatively new, that came out last year. These are gonna be in your emails that you send. The MailChimp surveys are an external link that you can add to your emails, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, MailChimp tries to make this confusing for some reason. Anyway, let's get started. So we're gonna create a campaign. We're gonna add in a poll question and a survey question. So we're gonna click on create a campaign. Just a simple email. And we're going to call this poll questions. Click begin. So we'll go to the two section. We'll choose our audience. Uh, we can segment out if you want. We won't personalize it. Click save. Subject line. Since we're just this is just a demo, we're just going to go poll. Click save. All right, on to the design. Uh, let's do the tell a story layout here. It doesn't really matter what we put in here, but I do want to delete all this stuff here as we usually do in our little demos. All right, share your story. We'll just click on, hey, please take this poll question. So these are merge tags and what you can do is click on open cheat sheet and then uh, scroll down a little ways and you'll find the poll. So we're going to grab this to start and we'll just paste it in here. And I just do like that, get some space in there. Now the first thing you see is the X. Now that X, that X value in the merge tag determines the orientation of the poll in your campaign. So it can be either H for horizontal or V for vertical. And you can add in as many poll merge tags in a single campaign as you want. Just be sure to close each poll rating beginning with an end poll, okay? But I would hesitate to do that because what happens when a person fills this out is they go to a special poll page that you set up in your audience settings. And we'll take a look at that at the end. But I would be hesitant to do more than one because each time a person fills it out, be taking them to that page. They wanna fill out the next question. They have to go back to the email and fill out the next question and so on and so forth. So be very cognizant of that fact that each time a person clicks a, a poll rating or a, a survey, each time they fill that out, they go to this special page. And then if there's more questions that you want or that you are asking, they have to go back to the email to fill those out. It's my opinion. You might just want to keep it to one question, either a poll or a survey in your campaign emails. Okay. So we're going to put in H here for our poll. And then we're going to ask our question. And our question is, how likely are you to recommend MailChimp? Okay, now we'll just save and close and we'll take a preview of that. And this is what it will look like. And this is so this is the horizontal. So if it was vertical, it would be in a little box over here. But with the horizontal, it goes straight across. And you notice that the default is one through 10. I don't think that I haven't come across a way to change that at all. So when you think of your poll question, make sure you're thinking about a numbers one through 10 uh, on a rating scale type of thing. Okay, so that's what a poll question looks like. And then we're gonna add in a survey. So we'll go back into here and we'll add in our survey merge tag. The survey, it, that merge tag is to ask your subscribers a single question with a set number of responses they can choose from. 
And the survey's uh, a little bit easier to remember. It's just survey followed by your answers to your survey. So let's say the survey question is, do you love MailChimp? And the survey questions could be simple as no. So that's our answer. And then we follow it up by that little bar pipe character. And then we end it with an asterisk. I suppose we could do survey. And then we'll say yes. And maybe just for fun, do. Maybe. So we have one question for our poll and we have one question for our survey. Let's click on save and close. Click on preview. So this is what it's gonna look like. And when they click on that, it's going to take him to that special survey slash polling landing page. So let's go take a look at that next. I'm gonna click continue for now. And we're gonna go over to our audience, click on manage audience, click on settings. So under settings, uh, go to sign up form, click on the form builder. So under forms and response emails, we'll find our survey landing page. So way down here, survey landing page, click on that. And this is what people will see when they click on one of those links in either your poll question or survey question, okay? Now we're gonna keep it as default. You can design it the way you want. You can add in, use an image, you can edit, but we'll just keep it the way it is. And then we're gonna send out our email and see how this all works. Let's go back to our campaigns, go into our poll question, click edit, scroll down, click edit design. Let's swap out the logo real quick. That one right there, click insert, bring it way down. Since the, the heading, there we go. And then over here, we're gonna just delete that little piece there. Bring all this up and delete our social media. Okay, so I'll click continue. And I think we're ready to send. So we're gonna click send to our four recipients. So here's our email, we'll click on it, open it up. And here's our questions. How likely you recommend MailChimp? Now, if I click on 10 or any of these numbers, we will be taken to that special survey landing page. And this is what it looks like. Thanks for voting. And I can return to our website, which will take you back to my website. And that's it. And if I go to back to the email, I click on, do you love MailChimp? No, yes, maybe. We'll say yes. We'll go back to that same survey landing page. So keep that in mind. You can design it the way you want. You can add in some elements that are missing here, maybe an image or some other text that you'll be sending out the final tally later or something like that to your subscribers so that they know the results of this poll and or survey. To check out your stats for your poll and or surveys that you send in your campaign emails, go to the reports tab and then click on the view report for the campaign that you just sent for your polls and survey. And then go to the Analytics 360 tab and I can see uh, the poll results and the survey results. So one person said yes, 100% percentage. And the votes cast was the number of how many people actually clicked on a, a rating. Uh, pending votes, which means how many people are left to vote. Uh, and the last vote cast was at a particular time and date of the last person who actually clicked on a rating. Makes sense, right? And then how likely you recommend MailChimp? Same thing, votes cast, pending votes, last vote cast, and then you get your votes. So there you go, guys. That's a, a nice way to get some interaction, some dynamic involvement from your subscribers, get them voting on these polls and surveys so that you can maybe figure out what they're more interested in or that type of thing. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for checking out the video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.